In phase six, we constructed a set of tools that allowed us to review and summarize relevant data that we had identified in the previous phases. There are many ways to interact with data and to write in MaxQDA. For this project, I chose a style that involved a minimum of different software features. The team I've worked with was new to the process and to the software, so I wanted to make the environment as easily accessible as possible. We started the process by looking at the data through the summary grid, and we started summarizing the data within the summary grid. One advantage of this is that we can see only small segments of data, so we're reducing consciously the amount of context that we have. That can help analysts to focus, um, especially when they are not experienced in uh, analyzing larger amounts of qualitative data. However, there are several disadvantages to this as well, and Christina and I will discuss this in a separate video. In order to create a pit stop during analysis, we started reflecting on our summaries and synthesizing them after we went through three documents. And then we did this again after we've looked at all the records pertaining to one specific audience. For that part, we used the whiteboard. Switching media is helpful during the synthesis of analytic noticings. It also prevents that analysts feel that they are trapped in the software. Also, learning how to use software and how to do analysis at the same time is hard. Building a hybrid workflow is therefore important to prevent burnout, frustration, and the feeling of disempowerment of learners. In phase seven, we further synthesized our notes, and again, we used the um, function of summary grids for that. We created a summary table based on the summaries that we have already created. We printed those out and we further synthesized what we found. Those findings were then added to a memo that we had attached to the of interest code. And we also added some of the findings into our logbook. That way we would make sure that we don't lose some of the analytic work that we've done in a session. In phase eight, we repeated this process for different audiences. And in phase nine, we did the final write-up. 